The first process to making our leaves is using Tim Holtz new grunge paper. I have to say this is for me the most exciting product that we have gotten this year from the show. It is amazing in so many ways. The texture of it is so flexible. It's really thin, um, about the same thickness as cardstock, I would say. So it is great because you can use it in the cuddle bug. You can use it in the Cricut. That's actually how we got these leaves was cutting them in the Cricut. And they can be used for so many things. I've seen people make books and albums out of the paper because it is so flexible. You can actually bend it and it isn't going to tear or it it's just great and we'll show you how the cuddle bug is going to work on it then i'm going to show you how to use the heating tool on it to give it this natural curl that leaves usually have which is great because it will actually hold that also and first before i go there i'm going to show you how to run it through the cuddle bug and for this we actually use divine swirl and as always, make it your own and you could really, there's so many different looks you could give by using different um, A2 folders, which by the way is great for card makers. It is the perfect size to make a card. So your whole entire sheet will have the print that you choose on it. And we're going to use the A spacer and two of the B cutting pads to make sure we're getting the proper pressure as we run it through the cuddle bug. And open it up and it will suck to the table, which is great because this, this is a little bit tough to get through because it is grunge paper is a little bit more thick and it's gonna take a little bit more of my manpower to get through. So don't laugh at me. Now we have beautifully embossed leaves. Now naturally leaves wouldn't have these swirls on them, but we did want them to have some real effects to it. So we used our score pal to put the scoring down the middle to give it that crease that most leaves have. And I'm going to put it, all you do is lay it and line up the center with the line on the score pal. It doesn't matter where you use it on there and apply lots of pressure and just go down the line. And I just went over mine a couple of times just to make sure it had a great indentation. You can also start in the center of the leaf if that's easier. Sometimes it is a little hard to start at the top and work your way up and down a few times. And with my last leaf, Score Pal is amazing for so many things. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to the alcohol ink that I told you about earlier. Now I have my Ranger mat down on the table so I don't get the alcohol ink on to the table. And for this one, we are actually using Tim Holtz Adirondack alcohol ink felt pads. They're a little different than the ones we've talked about before. And we will have those on our website within the next week or so. Those will be available. So if you want to check those out. Sure. To get the different colors on our leaves, we just took different colors and squeezed it out onto the actual pad. So you're not having to dip or anything like that. Which is also nice because you're not making a big mess. And there's no wrong way to do this. So just put it on in various spots. And it'll just kind of blend together. So like I said, it really doesn't matter the placement that you put it on. So now that I have all four colors on there, I'm just going to start blending it and covering the leaves. And this way, it isn't just one solid color. It's really neat because you really see each different color come out. And what took only a few seconds looks like it took you a lot longer to give this look. 
and we're done with that. But you actually want to do both sides, so once that's done drying, or if you have a nice mat like this, you could go ahead and just lay it down. It won't matter if it gets on the mat. And I just kind of move mine around. If I wanted some more of the blue color on one side, just turn your pad around. Now all of our leaves are done. And I'm going to start showing you how to make a pretty flower.